गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आर गेस्ट स्पीकर फॉर टूडे इज मनोज मित्तल फाउंडर ऑफ शेल्टर कंसल्टिंग इंजीनियर मनोज इज एन अकाउंटिस सिविल एंड स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंट विद ओवर थर्टी सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ प्रोफेशनल एक्सपीरियंस एंड अदमनिस ऑफ विद फिलानी ही हैज हैंडल्ड ओवर वन थाउजेंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वेरिंग मैग्नीट्यूड एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज इज अ मेंबर ऑफ सेवरल प्रोफेशनल बॉडीज एंड इज ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू वेरियस बी आई एस टेक्निकल कमिटीज Hello, sir. So Hello. Uh, the first question that we have is, what is the role of rebar in the structural integrity of buildings? Okay, so uh, see, uh, we use rebar in uh, concrete. Basically, when we say reinforced uh, cement concrete, say RCC. So you know, concrete is a very uh, good material uh, for taking compression. It can take a lot of compressive strength, stress. So. but it is very weak in tension so uh, uh, we need uh, rebar reinforcement steel bar uh, to be placed in the concrete members to, so that it can take tensile stresses as well so the placement of the reinforcement steel bar uh, will depend upon the location where the tension stresses will be coming on the structural element for example column beam slab and all those things so uh, it is needed in any uh, practical rcc structure you will need the uh, rebar and they also come in uh, various steel grade say fe 415 500 550 600 550 d something so basically this is yield stress which is very very important depending upon the requirement we uh, choose the uh, desired yield strength of the steel bar and also sometimes we also need the ductile grade we have uh, ductile grade also where percentage elongation is more and is required for ductile uh, point of view in concrete members so reinforcement steel bar is very very important uh, to take care of tensile stresses which will come uh, essentially in all kinds of uh, buildings whether it is uh, whether it, any kind of buildings and how does an individual home builder ensure that his building is constructed for earthquake resistance Uh, so see uh, most part of india comes in uh, seismic zone uh, which is very critical yes. zone 3 4 and 5 so it is very essential that we make uh, our all buildings including the houses uh, uh, which are coming in those uh, zones so that they are earthquake resistant so there cannot be anything called earthquake proof it will always be earthquake resistant so that your structure can resist the earthquake to certain degree now what is the degree what is, everything is defined uh, designed as per the bi standards so uh, uh, if you talk about how a house owner should build a house so that it can be earthquake resistant so first of all i will say it should be a designed structure first of all its layout is very very important because uh, there are certain shapes configuration which are desirable from earthquake point of view if you have that kind of a configuration which are regular symmetrical probably they will have better performance during earthquake and various shapes configuration geometry a desired thing also given in the code because if if, if you will have irregular structures or shapes which are not friendly from earthquake resistant point of view then your structural design or structure cost will be more and many times uh, it will be very difficult to accommodate those kind of irregularity also so uh, ultimately the configuration geometry shape this is uh, one thing which is important for any house owner to decide and then after that i would say that they should go for uh, soil investigation also because performance also depend upon the soil condition uh, how the foundation is being uh, designed and that will depend upon the uh, soil conditions so that is important and then hire a structural consultant hire a structural engineer because he is the person who will design your building as per the uh, bi standards considering the soil condition considering the your layout and also taking care of the Uh, various are provisions given in the uh, bi standards so it is basically computation kind of a thing you will do all kinds of a calculation and then they will come up come out with a drawing and detailing so uh, they will do all kind of strength calculation earthquake they will do that earthquake uh, force calculation and everything and then they will produce the drawing they will give you the structural detail drawings so ultimately when you get the structural drawing details follow that religiously that Uh, there will be specification for the concrete grade steel grade everything will be given there how the joints will be made how the reinforcement should be detailing should be done everything will be there in the drawings just follow it religiously and how to how to follow it 
hire a qualified supervisor at site because if you can hire a civil engineer or some kind of a good supervision from a civil engineer then that's the best thing but in a small house it may be difficult thing to get a qualified civil engineer to supervise your house at least hire a good supervisor who can understand the drawings and can get it implemented at site and further in case of any doubt any difficulty in interpreting the drawing or in execution consult your consultant particularly the structural consultant and sometime your architect may also help in this regard but i would say structural consultant is the best person in this aspect to make your building architecture